Hello guys, welcome to the latest installation video of Mo Creatures. This version is currently on 2.12, which includes kins, mice, and rats. So I got a request, I think it was a personal message, and I didn't even know it was updated. So someone sent me a message, and they told me to check it out and give you a tot. So that's what I'm doing now. So I'll put these three links in the description, as always. So Mo Creatures starts off here and you scroll down and you click it there just download it it will be adfly or whatever that is i'm not sure yep then once you download mokages go to i do not know even how to pronounce his name but you just go down to gui api and make sure all of my 10 or 1.7.3 or it will crash don't complain unless you make sure you've got the right versions download the main download there go to rigorous armies mods Download the mod loader, if you've got a bit of spare time, use Adfly to help the developer. If not, just download it direct, your choice. Same for audio mod, Adlify or direct. And once you've got those files, so it's been my up, you want to make a little folder like this, which has got all the files you need. So yeah, let's get on with the installation. Okay, open up a new find window. Go to your name there, library, application support. Minecraft bin and open up the jar and just rename it to Minecraft Dodge Jar. But one thing you really want to do is go to software update. I am currently on 10.6.8 and I don't know if you knew but there's been a new Minecraft not Minecraft actually Apple Java update so be sure to software update get the latest version of Snow Leopard, you should always get the latest version, it's got so many benefits. I don't see why you wouldn't want to, and get the Java update because that could help some black screens. Although I'd say about 90% of black screens are people not installing it correctly. So, yeah, once you rename that to Minecraft Java, open it up and open up the Moku just folder. Install the mod loader, simple, just drag the files like that, click on the cog and copy them, then paste them in like that, and apply to all, replace. Go to audio mod, copy the yo class, paste in the yo class, like that, and replace it. Copy the rbxm and paste that in. Pause code, sound, codex, copy the rbxm. Then type in Paul here, go to minecraft.jar, and it should come up with those. You don't need to worry about those yet, although we will be deleting those later. Pause code, sound, and you see lots of files there, codex, and paste it in, and you should have three codecs there in the pause code folder. Then you go out of that, go back into the Mocages folder, go in GUI API, drag all of those files there, it is 38 actually. Then you just paste the 38 items in, and replace all the items that you need to. Close that down, just to ensure you've installed those mods correctly. Login and yes, that's worked. So let's get Moki to install Minecraft bin jar. Okay, load up Dot Zark's Moki juice, and there's a readme there which has got some helpful tips about installing it. Then you should go back here, which is very simple, it's a lot easier than dragging all the class files into the jar like I used to do in my old installs. Save to mods, double click that zip. To get that folder, just drag the folder in like that. It's so easy, it's unreal. Go to resources, mod, sound, then copy all these here. All 168 items, and go to resources, mod, sound, and paste it in like that. Then, before you leave, you need to do this or it'll crash. Minecraft.jar, type in, oh, I forgot what it's called again. Um, then we find it, meter in fact, yeah, meter. I haven't done it installing quite a while, so I forgot. Then delete that horrible file that causes black screens. Ensure everything's looking nice. Make sure everything's fixed and installed correctly. Load up Minecraft. And the moment of truth. And it's worked. <laughs> this crashed first time I tried to do it. So, yeah, then I'll just load the world to show that it actually works. Yeah, it's so much easier. I don't know if you've seen my other installs, but you have to manually drag in every single file. 
all the class files, all the mob pings, and the yeah, edge works have got shot there. Just gonna turn the renders down. There we go. And turn the graphics up fancy because my computer isn't very good. Yeah, and there we go. So it's obviously worked because you can see a was that pink dolphin? God damn. Is that no, it's just a shark getting hurt, I think. And I probably want to get off this ice. And yeah, there's mice, rats, and kittens. I've seen the blue S Boss video. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. And she, well, what's her name again? Um, Hannah, she showed you the kittens. I'll put a link to that in the description if you haven't already seen it. I haven't seen mice or rats. I'm not, I don't really like rats or mice. So I don't think I'm really fussed about those, but I didn't cats attack them. I'm not 100% sure on that. And yeah, I hope you enjoy this video and I hope it works. Just follow these steps and it will definitely work. Just as long as you've got the latest version of Snow Leopard, the latest version of Java, if you install it exactly the same way as me, there's, it can't actually go wrong because unless you've got a power PPC, which is a whole different whole different error code, error, error, that's a whole different type of errors. So if you've got a power PPC, then you need to get an Intel seriously. Power PPCs are so outdated. I mean, you can't even run stuff like World of Warcraft on it. It just like you have to get an Intel converter. But I know some people can't afford it, but seriously, Intel is where it's at at the moment. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope it helped you install the mod. And thank you for telling me about this, whoever PM'd me. I'm not sure who it was. And yeah, see you guys. Bye.